Hello everybody, this is XStarKillerX here and welcome to my first Yu-Gi-Oh! box review. So in these videos I'm going to be giving an overview of the set, uh, the main cards which you can get from the set, my personal opinion of the set itself, like what was good and what was bad, and I'm going to give you some average prices for how much you, uh, they are cost if you wanted to buy the sets, and then I will give you a price for currently what the most valued card in the set is. So what I'm going to do with these videos is going to do a review of every box which I do a box opening of and uh, every one which I do in the future of course. So let's get into this first review of Premium Gold Return of the Bling. So first let's have a bit of overview and background of the set. So this set was originally released back on the 19th of March 2015. Uh, this set has a total amount of cards of 91 which consists of 70 gold rares and 21 gold secret rares. So there are a lot of really cool cards that came up with this set. I'm going to name most of them here for you now. You have the Blue Eyes White Dragon, the Crush Card Virus, the Complete Exodia Set, Glow Up Bulb, Lavarval Chain, Mathematician, Number 101 Stunt on an Arc, Number 95 Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon, and probably one of the best cards of the set, a legal version of Regeki. As I don't forget, there's uh, many legal versions of this have been printed. So, just a huge amount of really good cards in the set. Okay, so now for the main part of the video, which is my personal opinion on the set. So, let's give it an overview. This is probably one of my favourite sets which I, to date, have personally opened in recent times. I mean, it's just got so many good cards. I mean, you got the Golden Exodia set, which is good for me because I really do love Exodia. I'm an Exodia freak. It's just got loads of other cards which you'd like to get gold ones of just to make your deck a little more, more pretty. You got some Avenged Ritual art, I used to use that a lot and it and it's just nice to have a shinier version of that. And of course the blue eyes white dragon, I mean who doesn't want a golden blue eyes white dragon in their deck? It just makes it look super cool. Call the Haunted, another card which I used a lot, so it's it's just great this set. Really good to like glamorise your deck if you want to say it like that. You got compulsory evacuation device, some of which I again personally used. I think something which everybody was looking forward to this when this set first came out was of course the gold crush card virus, which is the first legal one I do believe to ever been released, which is why it was so popular and still is today. And also a very nice card to use as well. You've got a dark hole as well, which is good just to make your deck a bit more glamorous. You got a few animal to heroes in this deck. You've got another reprint of the five headed dragon, which has been reprinted like a thousand times. You got Glow Ball, which is the nice uh, tuna addition to the set. You got, of course, which is probably one of the most popular cards that was released with this set, which was Lavovel Chain, which unfortunately was recently banned. But I mean, it's just such a really good card. You can know, add to your deck or add from your deck um, to the top of your deck, and also put stuff to grave all, which we good for decks that use that sort of tactic. Because you got some uh, X Y Z monsters like number one hundred one, uh, fourteen, uh, twenty one, number ninety five. Uh, that they are sorry, Slant on Art, Greedy, Smart, something. I can't say that name. Fresnely Justin Galaxy Eyes, Dark Man, a Dragon, which have all been nice. A Golden Pot of Duality. Now, I really like Pot of Duality. It's one of my good, good cards which I use in most of my decks. It's, it's really useful, you know, because you get top three cards and you can choose the one that you really want. So, next, of course, we have the Regeki, which I believe is um, one of the first legal ones, which I could be wrong on that, so I apologise. I mean, Regeki is just like the most OP card in the world. You just use it, it just wipes your opponent out. I mean, who doesn't love that? We get destruction. I think that's a nice addition as well. There's time lords. I mean, I've I've used some of them in my uh, first deck, which I was my my proper deck, which me was my Exodia Delay tactic. And uh, the time lords seem to work pretty well, especially Metty in the time lord. I really liked him. Especially say when all your opponent's got loads of monsters and you get that number, you just special summon him and you attack it, returns them all to the, your opponent's hand, so it can really like cause some shit for him there. I mean, overall, personally, in my opinion, I think this is a very, very great set. It releases a lot of um, radius and cards which could be used in many decks, and it also glamorizes a few of the older cards, just as Dark Hole. So, overall opinion, if I had to give it a score out of 10, I'd probably say about an 8 or 9 out of 10. The only reason I won't say it was a 10 is because some of the cards in this set, I personally, I don't think I would really use. Some of the effects are a bit rubbish, or the monsters themselves are not very good. Uh, I'll give you an example of one. Uh, let's have a quick look here. Um, like uh, ceasefire, I don't think that was really necessary to be done as a goal because it, it has been done a few times already. Similar to Call of the Haunted, even though I do like it, it has been reprinted like a thousand times. So um, 
yeah, overall, great set. Very, very good set, in my opinion. Now, the price of this box has fluctuated a little bit since it was first released. And most of the uh, things that you get now, um, people tend to sell um, the brand new sealed ones for slightly more. And quite a few people are actually selling just the packs by themselves as like a cheap alternative. You're looking at, this is UK, by the way, in case you didn't know. You're looking at around an average price of around £7.50 uh, to £7.90 um, per single box of 15. If you wanted to buy a factory sealed pack of five, you'd be looking at anywhere between around 35 to £40 pounds a box. But for what you get in the set and the cards that you get in it, it's a pretty decent deal. So of course, I bet some of you want to know what is the most expensive card currently to buy and or sell. Well, currently, uh, the website that I use to get my prices is yougoprices.co.uk or .com if you are American, of course. Um, these prices can be a bit different to the ones which are on eBay, for example, but they are pretty accurate to what they are going for on, say, Amazon, eBay, and uh, Troll and Toad is also a good reference. Um, overall, the most expensive card currently at the minute is Regeki, as it probably should be. And the last um, average price that was taken was £12.33 a card. So that is it for this box review. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to punch the like button, leave a comment down below, or subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, most to follow me on Twitter, link down below as always. So last thing to say, I've been X Star Killer X. I don't forget to stick around for some more Yu-Gi-Oh videos. See you again very soon.